Today we have a guest. Our guest is Gail McLaughlin. Gail, first of all, Gail is running for Lieutenant Governor of California. Uh, more importantly, though, well, not more importantly, but but also going on that, building on that, if you will, uh, Gail has a history of fighting the establishment and winning. She beat big oil when it came to her town of Richmond, California, which Gail, you are you are a more humble person than I am, because if I beat big <laughs> oil when it came to my town, I would just wear that T-shirt every day. I would have a shirt that said I beat big oil in my town. AMA, ask me anything. That's what I do. I, I ask me anything. I beat them. That's what happened. Myra says, hello, Gail. Love you so much. People are stoked to see you, Gail. How are, right. how are you doing? Uh, well, thank you, Ron, for that great introduction. I am just really, really excited to be here and glad to be here with all of your guests and with you. And, you know, your reputation is so great as someone standing up to the establishment. So we're in this together. Well, so let, let's uh, let's fill some people in that might not be familiar with you first. Um, so unpack what happened in Richmond when you had to take on Chevron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so back in 2003, um, a number of us were activists in the community, progressive activists, and we were recognizing that things weren't getting done in our city. Our city was a high crime city. It was, you know, high in poverty. And we had the whole city council in the hands of Chevron. We have this giant Chevron oil refinery in the city. And the whole city council was either purchased or intimidated by the oil giant. So we decided to become the leaders we were waiting for. And we formed a progressive alliance, the Richmond Progressive Alliance, the RPA, coming together based on our progressive values, regardless of party preference or you know, no party preference. And we uh, had two purposes, one, to build a local movement, and two, to run local candidates without any corporate money for local office. And I became the first corporate free council member in Richmond, then went on to run for mayor, was reelected as mayor, termed out after eight years, and ran for city council again. Um, altogether, I, uh, I served 13 years as a corporate free elected official. But I wasn't the only one in Richmond who was elected as an RPA member and without corporate money. As of November 2016, we have five corporate free council members out of seven sitting on the city council, all elected with no corporate money. And in spite of Chevron spending millions to try and defeat us, you know, they spent three and a half million in 2014. And that's in a city of just a little over 100,000. So they were really threatened by our progressive movement. But we prevailed and had, uh, you know, just a host of accomplishments. And I was just so proud to to lead that transformative change in Richmond. Yeah, you know, and I, and I got to say, your story is very inspiring because I'm trying to do something uh, similar here where I live in Pasadena. My cause is municipal internet. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of the viewers have been following uh, the journey that we've been on because there's other people mm -hmm. helping me out. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to do something similar now. I'm really trying to build, uh, a movement behind it, uh, a okay. progressive movement behind it. And I'm really trying to get some people, uh, to kind of step in and run for office. My, uh, the, the guy that helps me with the show pasta, I'm trying okay. to get him to run for city council. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> I, I think, I, I think, I think we're slowly talking him into it. You know, I mean, I, I got, Use your noodle, vote for pasta. I mean, come on. How can you? Good slogan. I love right? It. You can't lose. That's you right. can't lose. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had an opportunity to meet pasta at the uh, Costa Mesa, our revolution candidate forum the other night, which was which was just great. And he's such a, a great, um, you know, just rabble rouser, I guess you would say, and just voice of the people. So I think he'd be great. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.